subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect. The Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect certification, is one of the numerous highly desired IT certifications nowadays. It is entirely one of the most challenging examinations offered by any cloud vendor today. Who should take the exam? The target audience for the Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect exam includes First, anyone who wants to enhance skills with cloud architecture certifications. Second, a candidate who wants to get an understanding of Google Cloud Platform. Third, anyone who is preparing for the Cloud Architect exam from Google. Fourth, anyone who wants to understand public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud deployment. Fifth, anyone wants to understand the services offering from Google Cloud Platform. Sixth, customer of Google Cloud Platform, and want to understand services offered. Seventh, current customers of Amazon, Azure, or any other public cloud wants to understand GCP services. Eighth, AWS Solution Architect, or Microsoft Azure Architects wants to understand Google Cloud Platform. Ninth, developers, lead developers who are using Google Cloud Platform services, or any other public cloud services. Now we will discuss about, learning objectives. The objectives are the topics, and regions which are very important for the Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect exam, as these objectives are the basis of the exam. The Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect exam covers various areas, these are the abilities, and knowledge which the exam wants to test. So, the objectives for the Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect are mentioned below. First, design, and plan a cloud solution architecture. Second, manage, and provision the cloud solution infrastructure. Third, design for security, and compliance. Fourth, analyze, and optimize technical, and business processes. 5th, manage implementations of cloud architecture. 6th, ensure solution, and operations reliability. Learning Path Through the Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect certification, the candidate gets the opportunity to expand solution elements, comprising the infrastructure elements such as networks, systems, and application services, and they will gain real-world experience. Successfully passing the exam will lead the candidate to become the Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect. Google offers three certifications to prove the skills of the cloud professionals working on Google Cloud Platform. These are Dash. First, Google Cloud Certified Associate Cloud Engineer. Second, Google Cloud Certified Professional Data Engineer. Third, Google Cloud Certified Professional Cloud Architect. Exam Format. Another important thing that the candidate needs to know, is the basic exam details. The details such as exam duration, fee, number of questions, etc. So, here we are discussing such information. The Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect exam is present in the form of multiple choice questions. The candidate will be given two hours to complete the exam. The registration fee for the Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect is $200, plus tax where applicable. The exam is available in the English and Japanese language. Prerequisites There are no such prerequisites for the Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect exam. However, there are recommended experience such as First, good understanding of Google technology and cloud architecture. Second, candidates should be proficient in all aspects of enterprise cloud strategy, solution design, and architectural best practices. Third, Candidates should also be experienced in software development methodologies, and approaches including, multi-tier distributed applications which span multi-cloud, or hybrid environments. Schedule the exam. If you are determined enough to go for this exam, and become a certified Google Data Engineer, then it's time to register for the exam, and go ahead for the preparation. Following are the steps to apply for the exam. First, you will need a Web Assessor account. You are supposed to create a one in order to register yourself for the exam. To create, click here. Second, create the account with your personal email address, and not your work address. Third, check the catalog, and register for the exam you want to apply for. Fourth, choose the exam center, that is, Criterion Testing Center. Fifth, when you register for an exam, you will need to schedule an exam time at a Criterion Testing Center that is convenient for you. Let us now discuss about course outline topics in detail. Domain 1, Designing, 
and planning a cloud solution architecture. Number 1. Designing a solution infrastructure that meets business requirements. It contains First, business use cases, and product strategy. Second, cost optimization. Third, supporting the application design. Fourth, integration with external systems. Fifth, movement of data. Sixth, design decision trade-offs. Seventh, build, buy, or modify. Eighth, success measurements, for example, key performance indicators, KPI, return on investment, ROI, metrics. Ninth, compliance, and observability. Number two, designing a solution infrastructure that meets technical requirements. It contains first, high availability and failover design. Second, the elasticity of cloud resources. Third, scalability to meet growth requirements. Fourth, performance and latency. Number three, designing network, storage and compute resources. It contains first, integration with on-premises or multi-cloud environments. Second, cloud native networking, VPC, peering, firewalls, container networking. Third, choosing data processing technologies. Fourth, choosing appropriate storage types, for example, object, file, RDBMS, NoSQL, NewSQL. Fifth, choosing to compute resources, for example, preemptible, custom machine type, specialized workload. Sixth, mapping compute needs to platform products. Number four, creating a migration plan, i.e., documents, and architectural diagrams. It contains First, integrating solution with existing systems. Second, migrating systems and data to support the solution. Third, licensing mapping. Fourth, network planning. Fifth, testing and proof of concept. Sixth, dependency management planning. Number five, envisioning future solution improvements. It contains First, cloud and technology improvements. Second, business needs evolution. Third, evangelism and advocacy. Domain two, managing and provisioning a solution infrastructure. Number one, configuring network topologies. It contains, first, extending to on-premises, hybrid networking. Second, extending to a multi-cloud environment that may include GCP to GCP communication. Third, security and data protection. Number two, configuring individual storage systems. It contains First, data storage allocation Second, data processing or compute provisioning Third, security and access management Fourth, network configuration for data transfer and latency Fifth, data retention and data lifecycle management Sixth, data growth management Number three, configuring compute systems It contains First, compute system provisioning Second, compute volatility configuration, preemptible, versus standard. Third, network configuration for compute nodes. Fourth, infrastructure provisioning technology configuration, for example Chef, Puppet, Ansible, Terraform, Deployment Manager. Fifth, container orchestration with Kubernetes. Domain 3, designing for security and compliance. Number 1, designing for security. First, identity and access management second resource hierarchy organizations folders projects third data security key management encryption fourth penetration testing fifth separation of duties sixth security controls for example auditing vpc service controls organization policy seventh managing customer managed encryption keys with cloud kms Number 2, designing for compliance. It contains first, legislation, for example, health record privacy, children's privacy, data privacy, and ownership. Second, commercial, for example, sensitive data such as credit card information handling, personally identifiable information. Third, industry certifications, for example, SOC2. Fourth, audits, including logs. Domain 4, Analyzing and Optimizing Technology and Business Processes. 
Number 1. Analyzing and Defining Technical Processes It contains First, Software Development Life Cycle Plan Second, Continuous Integration or Continuous Deployment Third, Troubleshooting or Post-Mortem Analysis Culture Fourth, Testing and Validation Fifth, Service Catalog and Provisioning Sixth, Business Continuity and Disaster Recovery Number 2, Analyzing and Defining Business Processes It contains First, Stakeholder Management, for example Influencing and Facilitation Second, Change Management Third, Team Assessment or Skills Readiness Fourth, Decision Making Process Fifth, Customer Success Management Sixth, Cost Optimization or Resource Optimization, CapEx or OPEX Number 3, Developing Procedures to Ensure the Resilience of Solution in Production, for example, Chaos Engineering Domain 5, Managing Implementation Number 1, Advising Development or Operation Teams to Ensure Successful Deployment of the Solution It contains First, Application Development Second, API Best Practices Third, Testing Frameworks, Load, Unit, Integration Fourth, Data and System Migration Tooling Number 2, Interacting with Google Cloud using GCP SDK, Cloud, Xutil, and BQ It contains First, Local Installation Second, Google Cloud Shell Domain 6, Ensuring Solution and Operations Reliability It contains Number 1, Monitoring, Logging, Profiling, Alerting Solution Number 2, Deployment and Release Management Number 3, Assisting with the Support of Solutions in Operation Number 4, Evaluating Quality Control Measures Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect Preparing Guide To successfully pass the Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect exam, the candidate needs to follow the following mentioned steps. These are the necessary and beneficial steps in order to pass the exam. First, Google Official Page as suggested before, the candidate should visit the official page of the overview of the Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect examination, and read all the related information there. On the official page of the exam, the candidate will find the overview of the exam, also they will find the exam study guide which is very important. The study guide will give a brief about the objectives and concerning study areas of the exam. Second, Google Cloud Documentations and Solutions. The next step should be the Google Cloud documentation and solutions. Google itself provides the study material, so the candidate has a very good option to prepare the Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect exam with the help of these documentations and solutions. There are also case studies available on the official page of the Google, which candidate can refer and try to understand the concepts through the case studies. The case studies that are available are Mountkirk Games, Dress for Win, and Terom Earth. Third, Google Training Program The Google Cloud Platform offers its training programs. The candidates who are preparing for the Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect exam can find the training programs for themselves. These training programs will offer complete guidance and learning to the candidate. Also, visit and the online course for Google Cloud Certified Professional Cloud Architect. Fourth, books are beneficial. The candidate can refer to the books that can help them to successfully pass the Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect exam. There are a number of excellent books present in the market, which helps the candidate to gather reliable information. Below, we are suggesting some books which the candidate can refer to. 1. Official Google Cloud Certified Professional Cloud Architect Study Guide by Dan Sullivan. 2. Google Cloud Certified Professional Cloud Architect Introducing Google Cloud, 3rd edition, by Soman Chatterjee. 3. Professional Cloud Architect, Google Cloud Certification Guide, a handy guide to designing, developing, and managing enterprise-grade GCP cloud solutions by Conrad Klappa. 5th, Practice Tests. Next most important step of the preparation guide is practice tests. Candidates can try their hands-on practice test which makes sure of their preparation. Also, the practice tests will help the candidate to acknowledge their weak areas so that the candidate can work on them.
for more such videos, subscribe to our channel.